Good morning, everybody, again. Uh, my name is Sebastian Wodetsky. I'm a Cloudex consultant, and today I would like to give you an introduction into uh, printing with Cloudex. Um, we have a few things on our agenda for today. Um, I would like to show you how you can use our universal printer in our HTML5 and our Cloudex in, in the, uh, with the ADP uh, environment. Uh, how you can use um, yeah, redirected printers and how we need to configure them. I will show you how you can use uh, advanced printing. Uh, we want to talk about a little bit about the limitations of the HTML5 environment uh, regarding printing. And um, I will give you some um, other, pos I will also tell you some other possibilities how you can connect your printers uh, with Cloudiax. Okay, so then we are going to start. Um, I have here my um, HTML5 environment. I'm logged on to my uh, to the website. Um, I will log on now. And we'll open SAP. And for example, we want to print now a sales sales order. And um, if I select now here file print. You will see here now that we have here a, a, a universal uh, printer. Um, if you use an HTML5 environment, you will only have this universal printer. So you 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 can print with um, you can print with redirected printers because the HTML5 uh, environment is uh, running in the browser and it's not able to connect to the to the operating system to um, to get the information which printers are locally installed. So you have only this universal printer which you can use. And um, so if I click print here, so the, the job will be generated now and then uh, um, the, the job will take over to, um, to the local environment um, as PDF. And now you have then the possibilities to say, okay, uh, which printer I want to use. And um, for, so, so on the uh, on the um, local, so on the on in the browser side, there you ha don't have the possibility to say, okay, which printer I want to use. It's it's everything after you, it's token over to your to your local environment. You have also the possibility to say here, then uh, I only want to save it as PDF instead of printing it. Um, so there are also some limitations. Um, for example, if you want to do some um, some batch printing. The batch printing will um, will not work uh, properly in HTML5 because uh, SAP will generate each uh, yeah each sale. Let's say in this example, each sales order in in a single print job, and will send you then um, will send each print job manually to the um, to the browser, and that will not work because you have to confirm each in this. Um, uh, will not it's not going to work. So if you want to use that, uh, please use the ADP solution. Um, the same will also be for the um, um, if you want to do some uh, sequence uh, pr printing printing sequences. Uh, this will also uh, not work. So for example, um, we have a order with code printing sequence here. Um, where you have then first the sales order and second the sales quotation. This will also not work in the, in, in this HTML5 environment. But I will show you now how that will work in the um, in the ADP environment. So I will log off here. And um, We'll log on now to 
our ADP environment. So it's the same environment, but now I'm connecting via ADP. Um, I have two different um, ADP apps here. Um, so we are able to create different kind of ADP apps. Uh, one is uh, where you have the possibility after the print job is generated, uh, you can um, select locally a, a, a printer. And the other solution will be that you can, um, yeah, that the system is automatically selecting the Windows standard printer always as um, yeah, primary printer. Um, I will start with the um, select printer. Set actually a little, uh, a little bit equal to the um, to the version of the um, yeah, HTML5 environment. We connect again to SAP. So I will select my sales order again. Um, uh, so you can already see some other printers here. So uh, there are also already some redirected printers, which are coming from the operating system directly. There are also some printers already from uh, advanced printing, but I will come back to them afterwards. Um, I have here my universal printer again. If I start the print job, you will see now. Now I get um, this uh, a pop up again with my local printers. So you see here, these are all my local printers, and now I can. Uh, I know I can select one of the um, yeah local printers, for example. Uh, our office printer, and then the print job will be uh, yeah printed out now. Um, I will do now the same. I have to, will do now the same with default printer. So I have first to lock off here. So also in, in this case, with, if you use with selected printers, um, it could can be tricky to um, start uh, using um, batch printing and sequence printing because every time you will get for each print job, you will get this um, you will get this um, pop up, and um, therefore we have um, the other one with default printer. And in the default printer, you will not get this this pop up, and um, you always uh, the system will always select then the, the standard printer of the of the local environment. Where's my universal printer? So we see here there was the, the progress bar that the job is uh, uh, yeah progressed, and now you can see here that the job was sent to to our printer without any um, yeah notification or without um, any possibility to select um, a different printer. Uh, in this scenario, it's also possible then, for example, to print such uh, print sequences because he's not uh, he's directly printing it to the um, to the local environment. Uh, the 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 limitation here is that the universal printer is not able to connect. To um, for, let's say to special paper sources, 
So, if, for example, if you want to, if you have uh, the first page, uh, the, the first page must be always um, from I don't know from tray one in the printer where you have the um, yeah the logo on it, and the second one, the second second and following pages must be from the from uh, from the tray two. Um, this is not um, not doable with this universal printer. Uh, if you want to use this, um, we always uh, say that you uh, need to use uh, at, um, CloudX advanced printing because with CloudX advanced printing there will be um, um, there will be some more info. The, the, the printer driver from your local system will transfer transfer more detailed information uh, to the um, to the um, to the terminal server and to the CloudX environment as you have with this, um, with this um, virtual printer. Um, I will show you now uh, how you can um, use a synprint uh, or advanced printing, how you can enable this. Um, I will go to, um, so we have to install um, a software first. Um, the software will be um, you will get from us if you if you are interested in the Simprint solution. Uh, unfortunately, it's not free of charge. Uh, if you uh, if you want to know uh, the costs uh, for you and your and your customers, please uh, get in touch with our partner management. Um, we also I have the possibility to enable your uh, a test version so that you can. Um, that you can test it first, because, for example, um, Synprint and or advanced printing is also um, a good possibility. For example, if you have a um, lot of delays in um, uh, print uh, when you try to print something, for example, you are, um, there are some issues with the internet connection. Uh, advanced printing is able to compress a print job, so that um, that you can yeah that you can improve the the, the time of um, the print job will come out of the of the printer. Uh, you yeah, you are able to reduce this uh, this time. Um, so you, you you can download them from um, yeah from a from a website. Um, if you install it, um, yeah you have to select then the ADP, Synprint client for ADP. Um, if you want to use this advanced printing, it's not compatible with HTML5 because HTML5 again is only running in the in the uh, in the browser and has no connection. So this is really for um, for a connection between um, yeah your Windows ADP. There's also a, a version for macOS, but this is, would be an, an extra chapter uh, in, a, in another webinar. And um, you have here the possibility to. Um, yeah, to that we define here. Okay, that's for client uh, simple client ADP. Uh, after you have installed it, you will get such kind of icon. So I can show it on 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 my environment. Um, unfortunately, no, it's now in German, but um, you will see here um, if if the system should be used a system um, standard printer. Or you can also define uh, a, a, a different standard printer for um, for the Simprint because this information will be already taken uh, over um, and will be forwarded to the um, to the um, terminal server environment so to CloudX. Um, you have also the possibility here to say on assignments um, to define okay which printers I actually I want to see. Uh, for example, we have here some printers, for example, XPS document. PDF printer. So normally this is not necessary that you see them on on um, on the CloudX side. So for example, this one we could then disable. And uh, for example, also we don't need fax and OneNote. And so now we uh, you see here that we uh, have yeah, a printer from the home office, uh, an office printer, and another printer. Um, and you see here that you have here the possibility to dis, uh, to enable the uh, the possibility to send over um, printer details and properties. So if you enable this, the um, the simprint client will send over um, 
send over this information then to to Cloudiax to the terminal server, and the, um, yeah, in this case SAP is able to work with it. Um, here's another tab with is advanced. For example, if you have um, yeah a very slow internet connection, you have here the possibilities to say um, how many um, yeah internet bandwidth is uh, the client is allowed to use. So you have here some um, some other technical um, yeah, details you can uh, define. Um, so if I log on then to the environment uh, and the RDP or the SynPrint client is active, you will see here a small SynPrint icon in the in your in your tray bar. And um, so this is also the sign that this connection is active. Um, each um, Cloudiex, so if you if you want to have the solution, each Cloudiex user you want um, which want to have this, we need to enable them. So we need to assign a a, 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 a SynPrint license to it. So um, if you want, for example, no, normally not all users in a company needs to have this. Um, fast printing possibilities. And um, for then you, you can define, okay, for example, I want to have this for my user one, three, and five. So we are able then to enable, we are able then to enable it for them. And if he logs in, then he will see this, um, this icon. And if we log into SAP then, you will see then when I go to print, you see here also directly the, the, the HP color, jet, color laser jet printer. Is a default printer, and you also see here. Um, okay, because I disabled a few of them now, but I have to relog in before they disappear. And um, you see here um, that I have this um, sharp, and then the the C user with uh, uh, yeah with your with the C user, and then um, with an ID. This ID is. Um, is coming from the um, from the from your client. So when I open the SimPrint solution here again, so you see here the ID is coming from here. So it's a, it's a user seven. So you have also the possibility. That's also something uh, an advantage. Uh, for example, if you if in some add-ons like CoreSuit or Boyum uh, B1 Up, you have uh, the possibility to define okay. Uh, a static printer. Um, here you have the possibility to, to, to define a static printer per user. So um, each user will have uh, this his own um, printer, but this printer will stay the same, uh, stay the same so long nobody starts to um, yeah uh, remove printers or uninstall printers from from the environment from the local environment. Then um, it, it could be possible that this uh, ID will be also changed. And when I click here now on preferences, we'll see here now that he has yeah, much more information as for uh, the universal printer. You will see here that he's um, yeah, taking over uh, the page size. Um, and what do we have here advanced? Um, you can define here the, the compression, so that is also then uh, to to get uh, to get, uh, get it printing faster. And um, in a, in another configuration here, if we have also the possibility to define okay which which tray I have to use. Okay, so there, if if I just print, uh, should I just say print? So the the job will also go to the local environment, and you will see here, yeah, it's, oops, it will directly uh, forward it. Oh, I can't find it right now. Some, well, it's already, the job is already done. So. Um, the only difference between the um, yeah the normal you 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 can ident let's say you can identify the simprint printers by this sharp at the end so this will always be the um, 
yeah, the forwarded printers from the from the SynPrint CloudX Advanced Printing uh, service. Um, so if you disable this uh, service, then you also want uh, you you also won't see this um, printers anymore. Um, another solution um, will be to get redirected printers. Sometimes you will see redirected printers. Uh, and sometimes you don't see them. Uh, to get them enabled, um, it's sometimes a little bit tricky. Um, the best way to do that is um, to have the drivers uh, you are using on your local computer, so it must be the same version you have on your local computer, must be also installed on the terminal server. Um, I can show you how, um, how our support is doing that. Um, so I'm already logged on on this on our terminal server. I have downloaded uh, the drivers. Um, I go into the printers. Um, menu. And then I, I select one of the printers. Then I have here the possibility to say, uh, where is it? Uh, where is this? It's device and printer, sorry. You have here, when you select the printers, you have here the possibility to say print servers properties. Here you have the uh, ability to select the drivers tab. And when you click here, change driver settings. So you, you can uh, select here add. Define here if it's a 64 or 32 bit driver. Um, then select the driver. So I have downloaded uh, my driver package here and extracted them. And then you have to select um, one of the SIF, uh, of these in files. These in files are the information uh, yeah, about the printer. You can select them, click Finish. And then the driver driver will be added to the operating system. So you, you you will not see them in the in the printers list because each printer you see here is actually a, a a local printer on the terminal server. But the printer you are trying to use is a printer which you have locally in your on your local system and will be only a yeah, only a redirected version should appear on the terminal server. Um, that's the reason why you don't see them here. Um, so if I go back then to the um, to the sales order for in my case here, and I say print, then I have here the the possibility to uh, to select one of the redirected printers. So you see here I have some of them because we already installed a few drivers, and um, yeah you can say print, and then the print job will start it. Uh, the difference here is uh, or the the um, limitation of redirected printing is this id behind this redirected 19 in this case will be only um will only be um visible or not visible um, um will be only um, be used in this session so uh, in this session, um, you have only um, the, the ID 19. If you log into, uh, if you log in again, you will have then another ID. So in this case, it's not possible to, for example, to have to define static printing um, sequences with some uh, uh, certain printers because this ID will constantly change by each logon. <clears throat> um, Yeah, okay. Um, that's about redirected printing. Um, the last thing I would like to talk, uh, to, uh, would like to explain you is um, um, sometimes we have customers, they are asking us to, um, asking us to, um, that they want to implement, for example, label printers. 
or some special printers, um, which I yeah, label printers are a good example. Label printers which which have um, very special parameters which are used are used sometimes also very special um, print drivers. Um, our experience uh, shows that um, normally with a normal VPN connection, it's very hard to get them working. Uh, with, with a normal ADP connection, it's very hard to get them working um, because the um, forwarding of the information from the local environment to the um, CloudX environment is uh, not always um, complete. And for example, then the, in, a, in case of a label printer, then the, the size of the label is wrong or the orientation or some of these kinds uh, is always an, an issue. Um, we uh, we have the possibility uh, to create a uh, side-to-side -side VPN tunnel. Um, this is also something that's not free of charge. You, ca um, you can find it on our price list. Um, uh, in this case, we will um, yeah, establish a connection between CloudX and your customer. Um, your customer, um, yeah, then one of our infrastructure uh, team will contact then um, the IT of your customer and they, they will establish a VPN tunnel. Um, then we have supposed to install directly on the terminal server uh, the native drivers. And then you you are able to print really na natively from from the terminal server to your printer. So the, the, there is no uh, local, local uh, computer in between you really print from your local uh, from your terminal server directly uh, on um, on the um, on your for example label printer without um, yeah, having all this um, kind kind of all these issues of uh, ADP redirecting or um, we also made good um, we, has, we also had good results with the, um, with the Simprint client, but sometimes also the Simprint client will not be enough. So uh, normally we start to test if, okay, if the Simprint client be enough. If not, um, you can also, um, yeah, we should try it then with a VPN tunnel. Okay, um, I think I'm done with all my topics. Um, the last things I would like to um, to show you is our uh, our help page. So we have uh, on our cloudx.com website we have a help page where you can um, look for all kind of topics. You will also find here um, if you look, for example, for print. You will also find here some uh, some information about how you can. Um, what you can do with the HTML5 client in, H uh, in CloudX, uh, how you can uh, configure printing on a Mac, and uh, all the things uh, are stored in this um, in this help page. We are constantly um, filling them with new content. And um, yeah, if you um, if you have a question, uh, it's it's always a chance that's already answered in this uh, in our knowledge base. And if not, um, yeah, we, of course, you can open an incident. Um, we have here uh, also on our CloudX page uh, under uh, um, info, videos, you will also find all our webinars from uh, from the previous sessions. And um, yeah, it's also a good, uh, a good destination to, um, to get new knowledge about CloudX. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. I hope um, I could help you a little bit. And then uh, I wish you a good day.